So I'm not one of these people, like I heard someone in the audience who's cynical enough to believe that we went in for the oil. But we sure as heck ain't leaving without it. <laughs> Remember why we went in to Baghdad, now that we're moved in, this something fell into my hands. Confidential document. It is part of a larger document called the Iraq Strategy. This is the post-conflict plan for the economy of Iraq, which was developed about a year before we were told there was going to be a conflict in Iraq. <laughs> But okay, if you're gonna conquer a place, you might as well have a plan. I mean, a whole entire neocon economic program, page after page, privatization of, of six of the top state banks, 100% foreign ownership of industries, a new currency, the Bush Diener. Remember General Jay Garner? He was gonna be our civilian, the viceroy that, that President Bush had appointed. See, he got off the plane after he'd been appointed by the president, who told him he was going into Iraq to bring them democracy. So he gets off the plane and he announces on the tarmac that there will be elections in Iraq in 90 days. <laughs> Iraq for Iraqis was his phrase. Sounds good. And he even said, Iraqi oil for Iraqis. <laughs> he gets to Baghdad and the phone rings at midnight. <laughs> Washington, don't unpack, you're gone. Donald Rumsfeld was on the other line. 90 days was a dual problem. First, that meant that there'd be free and fair elections in Baghdad before Florida. <laughs> And the second, you can't take all the assets, the banks, cut the tariffs, cut the business taxes, and take the oil all in a day. See, there's a schedule, and it goes, takes 270 to 360 days to do that. There's a big problem, then. If you have elections in 90 days, you need the oil. It takes 360 days to get the oil. There's a problem. So they removed General Jay, and they put right in Paul Bremer III. Paul Bremer did not have any Iraq experience, but he had something more important that qualified him. For three decades, he'd been the business partner of Henry Kissinger. <laughs> Our president said that he was now going to go after all those who have aided, trained, and harbored terrorists, including operatives of Al Qaeda. And I thought, he's gonna bust his daddy. <laughs> Mother's Day! Can you imagine M Mother's Day reading Barbara her rights? Spread them, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>